For millennia, humanity gazed at the stars and pondered the possibility of other worlds. The sheer scale of the universe suggests that other planets must exist. The idea of exoplanets was once science fiction, now it's a vibrant field of inquiry. We are finding new planets at an astonishing rate, reshaping our understanding of our place in the universe. The search for exoplanets reflects our innate human desire to explore the unknown. As we continue to explore, we may one day answer the age-old question, are we alone? The early days of exoplanet hunting were marked by challenges and skepticism. The technology to detect these faint signals was still in its infancy. Astronomers had to develop ingenious methods to overcome the limitations of their instruments. The first confirmed detection of an exoplanet orbiting a main sequence star came in 1995. Michel Mayor and Didier Queloz discovered 51 Pegasi b, a gas giant orbiting a star similar to our Sun. This discovery was a watershed moment in astronomy, ushering in a new era of exoplanet research. It confirmed what many scientists had long suspected, that planets were not unique to our solar system. One of the earliest methods used to detect exoplanets was the radial velocity method, also known as the Doppler wobble method. This technique relies on observing the subtle gravitational tug of a planet on its host star. As a planet orbits a star, it causes the star to wobble slightly. This wobble can be detected as a periodic shift in the star's light spectrum. Another early method was astrometry, which involves precisely measuring the position of a star in the sky. A planet orbiting a star can cause the star to appear to wobble slightly in its position. This wobble although incredibly small, can be detected with highly precise instruments. Astrometry has the potential to detect planets even further away from their stars than the radial velocity method. As technology advanced, new methods for detecting exoplanets emerged. The transit method became a powerful tool for finding exoplanets. This involves observing the slight dimming of a star's light as a planet passes in front of it. The Kepler Space Telescope revolutionized exoplanet hunting using the transit method. Kepler discovered thousands of exoplanet candidates. The data revealed that planets are more common than previously thought. It also showed a wide variety of planetary systems exist. The diversity of exoplanets discovered so far is astounding. We have found gas giants larger than Jupiter, rocky planets similar in size to Earth, and everything in between. Some planets orbit their stars incredibly close, completing an orbit in just a few days. Others orbit at vast distances, taking hundreds or even thousands of years to complete a single revolution. Exoplanets are classified based on their size, composition, and orbital characteristics. Gas giants, like Jupiter and Saturn in our solar system, are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. Neptune-like planets, also known as ice giants, are composed of heavier elements like oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur. Super-Earths are rocky planets larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. Terrestrial planets, like Earth and Mars, are rocky planets with solid surfaces. These planets are of particular interest in the search for life beyond Earth. Some exoplanets orbit multiple stars, creating complex gravitational interactions. Others orbit pulsars, the rapidly rotating remnants of dead stars. The sheer variety of exoplanets challenges our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. It suggests that the processes that shaped our own solar system may not be universal. By studying these diverse worlds, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complex factors that contribute to the formation and evolution of planetary systems. Section 5. Sentinels of the Sky Key missions in the search for exoplanets. Several space missions have been dedicated to the search for and study of exoplanets. The Kepler Space Telescope, launched in 2009, was a pioneering mission that revolutionized the field. Kepler used the transit method to detect thousands of exoplanet candidates, demonstrating the prevalence of planets beyond our solar system. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, launched in 2018, is another important mission. TESS is designed to survey the entire sky, 
searching for transiting exoplanets around nearby bright stars. TESS is expected to discover tens of thousands of exoplanet candidates, providing a wealth of targets for future study. The Hubble Space Telescope, although not specifically designed for exoplanet research, has also made significant contributions to the field. Hubble has been used to study the atmospheres of some exoplanets, providing insights into their composition and temperature. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, is poised to revolutionize exoplanet research. With its powerful infrared capabilities, Webb will be able to study the atmospheres of exoplanets in unprecedented detail, potentially revealing signs of life. These missions, along with ground-based observatories, are constantly pushing the boundaries of our knowledge about exoplanets. Section 6. Decoding Atmospheres Probing the secrets of exoplanetary composition Studying the atmospheres of exoplanets is crucial for understanding their composition and potential habitability. Scientists use various techniques to analyze the light that passes through or is reflected by an exoplanet's atmosphere. By analyzing the spectrum of this light, they can identify the presence of different molecules, such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. The presence of certain molecules in an exoplanet's atmosphere can provide clues about its temperature, pressure, and potential for life. For example, the presence of water vapor is considered a key indicator of habitability. Methane, a byproduct of biological activity on Earth, could also be a sign of life on other planets. Analyzing the atmospheric composition of exoplanets is challenging. The light from the planet's atmosphere is often faint and difficult to distinguish from the light of its host star. However, with advanced telescopes and sophisticated techniques, Scientists are making progress in decoding the secrets of exoplanetary atmospheres. The study of exoplanetary atmospheres is a rapidly evolving field. As technology improves, we will be able to study the atmospheres of exoplanets in greater detail, potentially revealing signs of life beyond Earth. This research has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of planetary atmospheres and the conditions that make a planet habitable. Section 7. Notable Neighbors famous exoplanetary systems and their significance. Several exoplanetary systems have captured the attention of scientists and the public alike. The TRAPPIST-1 system, located about 40 light years from Earth, is home to seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are located in the habitable zone. This system offers a unique opportunity to study the diversity of planetary environments within a single system. Proxima Centauri b, located just 4.2 light-years from Earth, is the closest known exoplanet. This planet orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star, and is located within the star's habitable zone. Its proximity to Earth makes it a prime target for future study. The Kepler 186f system contains an Earth-sized planet located in the habitable zone. This planet orbits a red dwarf star and is considered a potentially habitable world. Its discovery marked a significant milestone in the search for Earth-like planets beyond our solar system. These notable exoplanetary systems provide valuable insights into the diversity of planetary systems and the potential for life beyond Earth. They serve as prime targets for future research, offering the possibility of discovering signs of extraterrestrial life. Section 8. The Quest for Life. Seeking Biosignatures Beyond Earth The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most compelling motivations for exoplanet exploration. Scientists are looking for biosignatures, which are indicators of past or present life. These biosignatures could include the presence of certain molecules in a planet's atmosphere, such as oxygen, methane, or ozone. Other potential biosignatures include the detection of complex organic molecules or evidence of photosynthetic activity. The search for biosignatures is a challenging endeavor. It requires sophisticated instruments and careful analysis to distinguish between biosignatures and non-biological processes. The discovery of a definitive biosignature would be a monumental event, confirming that life is not unique to Earth. 
it would have profound implications for our understanding of the origins and evolution of life in the universe. The search for biosignatures is an ongoing process. As technology improves, we will continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, bringing us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe?